Now I was thinking of where is Jayananda? Now immediately he has come. Guru Mahal. Ah. Thank you. Take care, it may not fall down. All right. Hmm. So today is the disappearance day of my Guru Maharaj. As I told you that Sadhava Jiva Ma Marova. There was a nice story the other day I told you that a sage is giving different kinds of blessings to different types of persons. So to a king's son, a prince, he blessed Rajabhutta Chirang Jiva. Oh, you are king's son, prince, you live forever. And Muniputra, the son of a saintly person, he blessed him, Mājīva, Mājīva, you don't live. Rājaputra, Chiranga Jīva, Muniputra, Mājīva. And Sādhu, devotees, he blessed him, Jīvova, Maroba, either you live, or you die, as you like. And there was a butcher. He blessed him, Mahajiva Mahamara, you don't die, don't live. So these words are very significant that I have already explained. Still I am explaining. The prince is enjoying sense, that's all. He has got enough facility for sense enjoyment. So his next life is hellish, because if you indulge in sex life, then Krishna will give you facility to have sex life three times in an hour, just like the pigeons, the monkeys, the sparrows, they are very sexually strong. You have seen it. So the facility is given. So princely order that after sense enjoyment. So he is blessed that better you live forever because after your death you do not know what is going to happen to you. You are going to get a hellish life. Better you live for some time. Go on with your enjoyment. And Muniputra, Mahajiva, Brahmachari, working under the guidance, under strict disciplinary guidance of his spiritual master, he is blessed Mahajiva. The you better die because you are so trained to enter into the kingdom of God. So why should you take so much trouble? Better you die and go back to God. Mahajiva. And a devotee, he blessed Jivova Marova. My dear devotee, either you live or die, the same. And the butcher, he blessed him Mahajiva Mahamarova. You don't live, don't die. What is to do? His living condition. He is so abominable. From the morning he has to slaughter so many animals, see the blood stain, the ghast is seen. That is his livelihood. So what a horrible life this is. So don't leave. And don't die also. Because after death, oh, he is going to be in so much hellish condition. Nobody can describe. So both life, living condition and death, after death, his condition is very horrible. Anyway, apart from others, the devotee 
for him appearance and disappearance the same thing just like when my spiritual master appeared at jagannath puri he was the son of a very big government office bhakti vinod thakur he was magistrate government office and in those days a magistrate is a big officer in the government practically next to governor and bhakti vinod thakur was in charge of the jagannath temple that is the system in jagannath puri and the manager in charge of the temple is the district magistrate so there was ratha yatra festival and the car was passing in front of bhaktimino thakur's house bhaktimino thakur's name was kedarna dotta when he was magistrate he was known as kin dot kedarnanda so the car stopped before his house and at that time sila bhakti siddhanta sarasvati thakur a child in the lap of his mother the mother took the opportunity rising on the car he was magistrate's wife so he had the facility immediately people gave her a way to go in on the top of the car and place the child on the lotus feet of jagannath and there were many garlands one garland fell upon him bhakti siddhant sir the blessings this was one of the there are so many other things when he was a child 2 3 years old he ate one mango fruit which was kept for offering to the deity so his father mildly rebuked him oh you have done very wrong thing it was meant for deity and you have taken it he should not have done it the child was 2 or 3 years old he took it so seriously the never after that he took mango whenever we offered him mango he said no i am offended i cannot take mango he was thinking that that you see never in his life he took a mango he was thinking that i offended in my childhood by taking the mango of the deity right this is the characteristic of acharya they teach by their life action that one should be so much determined that one should not be a child took the mango there is no offense but he took that bow another instance in my presence at that time we are also young men and one of my god brothers his name is dr aud bihari kapoor he is now retired in bindavan last time i saw him. he was also young man and why his wife was also young so we were sitting together talking with guru maharaj and the girl proposed my dear master i want to speak with you so guru maharaj said yes you can talk whatever you like so she said i want to talk with you secretly not in the presence of everyone the guru maharaj said no i cannot talk with you secretly you can talk in the presence of my all other disciples so even that girl was just like his granddaughter by age calculation he refused to talk with a young woman in a secret place these are the instances so in his life he was 
अखंड ब्रह्मचार्य भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर हैड मेनी अदर सन्स एंड ही वॉज द फिफ सन एंड सम ऑफ हिज अदर ब्रदर ऑल्सो दे डिड नॉट मैरी एंड माई गुरु महाराज ही ऑल्सो डिड नॉट मैरी फ्रॉम द चाइल्ड होड इज स्ट्रिक ब्रह्मचार्य भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी महाराज एंड he underwent a very severe penances for starting this movement worldwide movement that was his mission bhakti vinod thakur wanted to do this he 1896 bhakti vinod thakur wanted to introduce this krishna consciousness movement by sending his this book Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his life and precepts. Fortunately, that year was my birth year, and by Krishna's arrangement, we came in contact. I was born in a different family. My Guru Maharaj was born in a different family. Who knew that I will come to his protection? Who knew? that i would come in america who knew that you american boys will come to me these are all krishna's arrangement we cannot understand how things are taking place in 1936 today is 9th december 1938 that means 32 years Go in Bombay. I was then doing some business. All of a sudden, perhaps on this date, sometimes between nine or ten December, at that time, Guru Maharaj was in this pause, little, and he was staying at Jagannath Puri on the seashore. so i wrote him later my dear master your other disciples brahmachari sanyasi they are rendering you direct service and i am a householder i cannot live with you i cannot serve you nicely so i do not know how can i serve you? simply an idea i was thinking of serving him how can i serve him serious so the reply was dated 13 december 1936 in that letter he wrote my dear sachin sir i am very glad to receive your letter i think you should try to push our movement in english that was his writing and that will good to you and to the people who will help you and i is that was his instruction and then in 1936 on the 31st december that means just after writing this letter a fortnight before his departure he passed away but i took that order of my spiritual master very serious but i did not think that i'll have to do such and such thing i was at that time a householder but this is the arrangement of krishna if we strictly try to serve the spiritual master his order then krishna will give us all facilities that is the secret although there was no possibility i never thought but i took it little seriously by studying a commentary 
by Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur on the Bhagavad Gita. In the Bhagavad Gita, the verse Bhagavashadmika Buddhi Rekiha Kurunanda, in connection with that verse, Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur gives his commentary that we should take up the words from the spiritual master as our life and soul. We should try to carry out the instruction, the specific instruction of the spiritual master very rigidly, without caring for our personal benefit or loss. So I tried a little bit in that spirit. So he has given me all facilities to serve him. Things have come to this stage that in this old age I have come to your country and you are also taking this movement seriously, trying to understand if we have got some books now. So there is little foothold of this movement. Now on this occasion of my spiritual master's departure, as I am trying to execute his will, similarly I shall also request you to execute the same order through my will. I am an old man. I can also pass away at any moment. That is nature's law. Nobody can check it. So that is not very astonishing. But my appeal to you on this auspicious day, the departure of my Guru Maharaj, that at least to some extent you have understood the essence of Krishna consciousness movement, you should try to push it on. People are suffering for want of this consciousness. As we daily pray about devotees, vancha-kalpata-rubhascha kripa-sindubhaivacha patitanam pavanibhya vaiṣṇavibhya namo namo. A vaiṣṇava, a devotee of law, his life is dedicated for the benefit of the people. You know, most of you belong to Christian community, how Lord Jesus Christ, He says that for your sinful activities He has sacrificed Himself. That is the determination of devotee of the Lord. They don't care for personal comforts because they love Krishna or God. Therefore they love all living entities because all living entities are in relationship with Krishna. So similarly you should learn this Krishna consciousness movement means to become Vaishnava and feel for the suffering humanity. So to feel for the suffering humanity, there are different angles of vision. Somebody is thinking of the suffering of the humanity from bodily conception of life. Somebody is trying to open hospital to give a relief to the diseased condition. Somebody is trying to distribute food stuff in poverty-stricken countries or places. These things are certainly very nice. But actual suffering of the humanity is due to lack of Krishna consciousness. These bodily sufferings, they are temporary, neither they can be checked by the laws of nature. Suppose if you give some distribution of food stock in some 
poverty stricken country that does not mean that this help makes solution of the whole problem the real beneficial work is to invoke every person to krishna consciousness as soon as he comes to krishna consciousness the same example as i have given several times that a rich man's son is loitering in the street forgetting his father's opulence and property and somebody out of sympathy giving him some food but other person comes to him and says oh my dear boy i know you you are the son of such and such rich man why you are loitering in the street come on i shall take you to your father so he the gentleman takes that loitering boy to his father the father is glad and the boy inherits his father property and his whole problem of life becomes solved this is a crude example similarly all living entities they are loitering within this universe in different bodies in different planets and from time immemorial without knowing that he belongs to the kingdom of god he is the direct son of krishna and god if krishna is the proprietor of everything and he can enjoy his father's property and these problems of material condition life automatically solved just like if you become a rich man if you can possess millions of dollars then your poverty is automatically solved similarly if you become krishna conscious if you act in that way then all other problems in the material condition of life solved so this is such a nice मोमेंट अहंकार सर्व पापे भव मुख श्यामी मासुच ने भगवत गीता से लॉर्ड से पीपल सफरिंग आर ड्यू टू हिज सिंपल एक्टिविटीज इग्नोरेंस इग्नोरेंस इज द कॉज ऑफ सिंपल एक्टिविटी जस्ट लाइक ए मैन डज नॉट ब्लो सपोज ए फॉरेनर लाइक मी कम्स इन अमेरिका and he does not know because in india just like in your country the card is driven from the right side in india i have seen in london also the card is driven from the left side so suppose he he does not know he drives the car on the left side and in car some accident and he is taken by the police custody and if he says sir i did not know that here the car is driven from the right side that does not make him excused the law will punish him so ignorance is the cause of breaking the law or sinful activity and as soon as you commit some sinful activity you have to suffer as the result so the whole world He is in ignorance, and due to ignorance, he is complicated in so many actions and reactions, either good or bad. There is nothing good within this material world; everything is bad. So we have manufactured something good and something bad. Here, because in the Bhagavad Gita we understand, this place is Dukkhalam Asasat. this place is for misery so how you can say in miserable condition how you can say that this is good or this is bad everything is bad those persons who do not know the material condition and die they manufacture something this is good this is bad because they do not know everything here is bad nothing good one should be very much 
pessimistic of this material world, then he can make advance in spiritual life. Dukkhalam masas. This place is full of miseries, and if you study analytically, you will find simply miserable condition. Therefore, the whole problem is that we should give up our material, conditional life, and in Krishna consciousness, we should try to elevate ourselves to the spiritual platform and thereby be promoted to the kingdom of Godhead. Jadgatyana nivartanti tadhyamam paramam. We are going, nobody comes back to this miserable world, and that is the supreme abode of the Lord. So there are description in the Bhagavad Gita. So this Krishna consciousness movement is authorized, very important. Now, you American boys and girls who are taken to this movement, please take it more seriously. And that is the mission of Lord Chaitanya and my Guru Maharaj. And we are also trying to execute the will by disciplic succession. You have come forward to help me. I shall request you all that I shall go away, but you shall leave. Don't give up pushing on this movement, and you will be blessed by Lord Chaitanya and His divine grace, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thank you very much.